how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me um, in this course. It's going to take hopefully under two hours, and I think you're going to learn a ton of stuff, um, and it's going to save you a ton of time in the long run. Um, I've been printing myself for about nine years, and I made all these mistakes the hard way, and so I really want to bestow a little bit of knowledge on you guys so you don't have to make the same mistakes, you don't have to waste money, and you can get to the thing that really matters um, in streetwear and clothing and fashion, which is marketing. All this stuff up here is just the nuts and bolts that has to get done. Um, it's the things that you want to get through as fast as possible, lock down as fast as possible, um, and just be, ha, make it become a process that you don't have to think about. You don't want to think about any of this stuff. You want to think about how you're going to be marketing your brand um, and how you're going to be pitching your customers and how you're going to keep getting more sales and new sales. But to start things off, um, we have to get down dirty and we have to learn how these things are going to work in order so that we can get to marketing, which is what really matters. So this course really is mostly going to focus on these. We're going to touch a little bit on marketing, but that's really a whole other uh, topic in itself. But let's start things off with your design, and this matters a lot. So your first design is something that you really want to um, pretty specifically target the target market that you're going for. Um, so for example, if you're a skateboarder um, or you want to target skateboarders, um, well, number one, it helps if you are a part of the community that you want to target. So you find that brands who are founded or who um, have designers on board that are actually a part of the community that they're targeting have a much better gauge on um, what these people want. They are one of them, so they know what they want, they know what they like, and they know how they can sort of um, touch their emotional center in a way, um, which is really what you want to do with your design. You want to make something that's going to resonate with the people that you're targeting. So let's get into it. Um, we're going to be working in Illustrator because the end-all, be-all format um, that you want for your design in order to get screen printed is a vector-based design. Um, that's going to be done in Illustrator. Photoshop is a little bit different. Um, so let's talk about what the heck is the difference between these two. So really what you want to know is the difference between a vector-based design and um, a pixel-based design. So vector-based uh, means that you can zoom in, manipulate, zoom out, do whatever you want with uh, the design or image without it getting blurry and without you seeing those pixels because it's not made up of pixels. It's sort of digitally made up. So for example, this is a good example with this F here. This is vector-based. So all these lines on the outside adjust as we zoom in and zoom out and they can be manipulated um, and they will not get pixelated and blurry like this. So this is sort of a stagnant image um, where there's little little squares making up the image. You cannot adjust it um, without either add, adding or removing pixels. That's the only thing you can do. With this, you can sort of adjust these anchor points um, and this is what we want. This vector-based image is what we want our design to be in before we send it to our print shop. What that's going to do is going to allow us to save some money, which is the whole goal um, of all this. We want to save money. We want to make it as easy as possible on the print shop so they don't charge us. Because if you send them something like this, they're going to charge you an artwork fee um, to turn it into this so that they can actually print a nice high-quality print for you. Um, so let's look at it. And there's another quick example. Um, this is really sort of exaggerated, but you get the idea. This, this is what it might be with pixels. Um, vector base zoom in and it's nice and sharp so this stuff here this right here this little t-shirt icon is pixel based it's a PNG that I dragged in this text in Illustrator um, this is Illustrator this is vector based because I made this text in Illustrator so let's just see the difference you can start to see these lines I want to get really really close you can start to see these lines let's get to a curve yeah you can see those pixels really standing out now that we're in this close but when we go over here to the text, you'll never see pixels. This is crystal clear, crystal sharp, um, because it's a vector base. So right now it's in text, um, but eventually, you know, before you send it, you would outline it. But we'll get to that later on. So let's 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 get to Illustrator. So if you don't have Illustrator, it's really important that you get it, and I think it's really important that you learn it. You can get it for free um, for 30 days. Just type in Illustrator free trial and Adobe, don't spell it like that, um, Adobe will give you the free trial for 30 days um, and this is good because it can, it can sort of let you get inside, play around with it. You can of course get your first few designs out for free um, 
which is important because we're trying to save as much money right now as we work our way through this process. Um, so get that free trial. And I think it's really important um, for anyone who's starting a brand or everyone who, anyone who wants to be heavily involved in the design process of their brand um, to learn, to learn uh, Illustrator. So let's say that you are an artist, you're a drawer, um, you draw things on paper, you paint things or you design with your hands. You don't want to design digitally and you don't want to think about designing digitally or moving that artwork over to digital afterwards. You say, forget that, you know, I'm romantic about drawing or I just, I don't want to be bothered. This is where my skill set lies. I want to focus on it. This is hack number one. Um, and this is something that anyone can do um, to get their design into vector format ASAP. And it's really cheap. So I would just go to Fiverr type in vector and you're going to get a whole bunch of designers who will for five dollars take any pixel based image for example this eagle guy right here or his duck um, pixel based or what they also call a raster image it's all little pixels and they're gonna outline it in illustrator and send it back to you in a vector based design five dollars and it's probably one to two days turnaround time um, I don't know if he lists it here uh, but a lot of these guys, it's it's 24 to 48 hours turnaround time. So, pixelated image, send you back the nice looking Tweety Bird. There you go. Two days delivery, five dollars. You really cannot beat that value. That's it's ridiculous. Um, so that's hack number one. If you don't want to touch Illustrator or you just want to save it, the learning curve for another time, go ahead and do that, um, and you'll have your design ready to go. But I'm just gonna give you the quick rundown on my design process um, and I'm going to design a little something for you guys uh, that I'm going to use um, in the process. I'm not going to give you a full tutorial on Illustrator because that could take forever and uh, be quite honest I'm even still learning things after using it for six or seven years now. Um, so this is something that I'll let you guys go ahead and learn on your own but I'm going to show you the best way to do that and that will be YouTube. Go in there uh, just type in Illustrator um, and there's going to be tons of tutorials on where to start, beginner, advanced, all types of tutorials on very specific things. Um, and you should just if you scroll down here, see if something catches your eye or type in beginner tutorial um, and start from there if you want to uh, learn more about Illustrator. That's the best way to do it. I could, I could do a whole other course on it, um, which I'm not going to do, but I'm just going to show you the insides of how I uh, designed something real quick. And one thing to keep in mind is we're going to keep this design uh, to one or two colors. This is going to help us save money in the printing process. You'll learn um, in the next section um, when, we, when I show you how to screen print on why that's important and why the color amount of colors increases the cost so much. But we're going to keep it um, to one or two colors to start out because that's going to help us save as much money as possible. And you can really um, actually get across a very, very good looking design and get across your point with one or two colors um, just as well as you would with a bunch of colors. So try to get something going that's one or two colors. Um, if you're sending something to the guy on Fiverr or any guy on Fiverr or girl, tell them I'm going to keep it to one or two colors, maybe tell them what colors. Um, they'll have no problem with that, but that's just something to keep in mind. All right, so let's get it going. All right, so we have our design here, a little cow, some money eyes, that milk, that streetwear, that has no really meaning, um, but it sure gets you thinking. Um, and this is gonna be one color. We're not gonna be printing this white. That's gonna show through um, whatever color shirt is below it, probably a white shirt. Um, so we would just be printing this red. You can go ahead and save it as a PDF, just in case 
the print shop uses some other vector based program that's not Illustrator, we want to make sure that they'll still have access to all the editing capabilities. So save it as a PDF. Um, and just to reiterate, one thing that's cool about the whole vector situation is it doesn't matter if I save this that big because the second the print shop gets it, they'll go like this. Boom, boom, and there's no loss in quality. So that's really the beauty of the vector-based design. Um, and also make sure that your fonts are outlined in case that print shop doesn't have that font. Um, that's another thing. Make sure your fonts are all outlined so there is no other information that this design is carrying just besides simply um, that everything is outlined. Also make sure you get rid of any strokes if you have strokes. Um, so I know I said I wasn't going to teach but in case say this is a stroke um, you don't want to send that because in certain situations see how that stroke the weight stays the same. This didn't go with it. But the weight of the stroke stays the same but now since the design is smaller it looks like it's a thicker stroke, but it's really the same strokes. Just so outline your strokes. That's the one thing to do. Um, also, to keep in mind. So come up in here. Object path. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, object path outline stroke. Okay. So now, no matter what we do, that stroke is going to stay that weight, and everything's going to scale accordingly. See that? It's still nice and thin still nice and thin cool but we're not going to do that we're going to get rid of that stroke because we don't want that okay um let's get into the next part of things which is going to be how to screen print so we're done here boom boom let's hit that next section